If you ever want to find the elusive greater shorthorn lizard, go out with Jim Barron, Montana's leading expert on what many call the horny toad. This greater shorthorn lizard has the largest range of any hor of the horn lizard species, and yet the least is known about it. So Barron spent 10 years capturing thousands of lizards to learn female lizards spend most of their life within a 30-foot area, and they use a huge amount of energy to give birth. It would be like a 120-pound woman giving birth to 26-pound babies. It's ridiculous, the high amount of energy. We see that in species that generally breed once in their life and die. Barron's study also found Montana shorthorns have the color of the soil they live, which is one of their main defenses against predators. But shorthorn lizards still have a tough life. For the adults, from year to year, it's about 10% survival rate. I have found some that have been seven years old, but that's very rare. Outside of Barron's study, a lot is still unknown about Montana shorthorns. And one reason FWP wants to learn more about these secretive lizards. So frequently you'll talk to a rancher and say, oh yeah, we're doing these surveys for shorthorned lizards. And they'll say, oh, horny toads, I have them all over my ranch. And so just trying to get the public aware that they're really cool and they're a critter that we're interested in their observations for to fill in all those gaps that we have. So if you happen to come across a shorthorn lizard, please contact Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.